Hey everybody, the day has arrived to where we're gonna make some pretty major changes. And when you have a kid with autism, changes can be tough, especially when they have OCD tendencies. Things just have to be in order for her and a lot of things have to go according to plan. We're seeing her do like a lot of repeating of actions. So when she walks in a room, if something doesn't go right, she'll go back out, reset, come back in, do the scan of the room to make sure everything is in its place. If it's not, then she has to keep redoing it. Things like that are happening more and more. Everything has its place in everything has its order. This summer I've come to a point where it's been a lot harder, especially grocery shopping. Um, everything has to be done in a certain way. Certain products have to be purchased. If not, that's gonna be a problem. When we're grocery shopping around other people in the store, we've seen her take items out of people's carts. She's taken things off of like the shopping belt, um, other people's things because in her mind they cannot be there. And so yeah, her OCD is getting a little strong over the summer. We've seen it. This happens. Back in uh, 2018 when we talked, it, it was a bit extreme then. We're having a bit of an extreme summer again this time. This change is probably going to come with some challenges. We just, we have to go for it. What are we changing? Her bed here is upgrade. We're upgrading her bed situation. This bed's been out with her since her crib days. Like this is her, her first bed after the crib. The mattress is getting old, the bed's getting small, and it's time to move on from it. Brilli has stopped sleeping in her bed more recently. She is trying to sleep on the floor or in our bed or on the floor in our bedroom, anywhere, the couches and stuff, but she's avoiding her bed. So I think this is gonna be a great time to make the attempt to switch to a new bed, a bigger bed. We're gonna go queen size. The one she has right now is a twin size bed and we've been making sure to talk about it, remind her that we're making changes in her room and of course any stories we can show and tell. She's been really aversive with books and reading right now so the social story is not the best option at the moment. Explaining that we are going to make a change. We have to do this room about a year ago and she loved it so I'm hoping we have the same type of thing happening. So far we just have a mattress. A mattress in a box. How are you feeling about your new bed? Are you ready for it? Got <laughs> some sticker action happening today. Sticker tower. Really been into sticker books lately. It's been a pretty big hit around here. Cool thing about the sticker books, there's a few things cool about them. One, she gets to color them. Two, peeling, then the feeling in the hands. And then she tears them apart, the paper tearing. That's all great stuff for her. That's just activity, all activity she likes to do. So sticker books are awesome. If you are into those sticker books, if you want to know where we found them, just check out our Amazon affiliate link. We have updated the store finally. We've been doing a lot of updating lately. We updated our Patreon. Our tiers are updated. We have new tiers. Great question from Kvideo. What are the tier? Do we have tiers? Are there new tiers? What will you get as a Patreon member? In the past, we did really good with tears. We did really good with following through with the rewards as a Patreon member. Over the years we kind of kind of fell off that a little bit. Started getting less and less active. We revamped it. We updated all the tiers. There's new uh, incentives to be a Patreon now. There, we have some fun stuff in there and we also we brought back something big. One of the items that we brought back, names on Braley's school bus. You know how we have the window full of names? We're gonna fill up the other side. So there's 20 spot spots available 
for that. I would say it's a semi-frequently asked question. Uh, do we have Patreon? Do we have supporter pages and stuff like that? Some of the new benefits that I'm gonna make sure that we stick to is like the, ex the uh, extra content. Cause you know here, we don't post every day. I just don't have the time to post every day. Like post edited great YouTube videos every day. I'll post more behind the scenes stuff on there, more stuff that you just won't see on our social media. Then once we reach uh, 50 patrons, we are gonna do Patreon live streams. Regular ones, not the the fake uh, weekly ones that we have now. Um, that's not meant to take away con the free content that we give out. As you saw in our last video, if you may not have saw, I Can Bike is being postponed. However, all the money that we have raised, including the donations, the ad revenue, the Patreon money that we have, the merch sales, all that stuff is still going to I Can Bike. We are just postponing till next year. So all that money raised is our balance and we're gonna continue raising on top of that we just have to make it happen next year <clears throat> we just ran out of time this year it's just it's the way it goes sometimes all right back to our regularly scheduled program we're we don't have the bed frame yet but we do have the mattress which it takes one to two days for that mattress to expand out from the box so we are going to break this down actually list this for sale we're gonna sell her old bed frame, let the mattress expand in here for the next couple of days. Her new bed frame comes in in a few days, so I wanna make sure the mattress is ready. This is like sentimental, sentimental moments right here for sure, cause kid growing up, you know? We almost have a teenager. We almost have a teenager. Still have a little time before that time comes. That was a lot of talking on my part, huh, Brayley? I cleaned it up so we could get the, bed, the old bed frame moved out of here so I can take a pictures of it and uh, get it listed and then get that mattress expanding. All right, here goes another one, huh? This one was uh, slammed off. Repairs need to be made this time though. This time she actually cracked the, uh, the door frame here. She just slammed that trim right off the door. It's not the first time it happens, not gonna be the last time. Meltdowns happen. It's it's part of autism. It's just the way it goes. And it doesn't make her bad. It doesn't make her less of a person. It just means her bad days look different than my bad days. Just the way it goes. I know I should have my share of bad days and they just look a little different. Instead of slamming doors, I internalize and let things blow up internally, you know? I uh, shut down for a couple weeks. Something you didn't see here on our channel. I did not pick up a camera for two weeks. I hardly got anything done for two weeks. There was just not a lot going on. It was work, work and sleep and swimming, I guess, but work and sleep and a lot of swimming, but not a lot happening. My motivation level dropped, a little bit of burnout, I would say. A lot of anxiety and stress over the uh, failing fundraisings and sponsorships, not getting stuff that I wanted to get done. You know how that goes when you have a plan to get a bunch of stuff done, it just doesn't happen. It's just really discouraging when it doesn't happen. That happened. I didn't record anything for two straight weeks after our uh, little mini vacation. Back to it. Back to getting things done. Step number one was this room. I do want to be a little transparent with that kind of stuff just because I want to let you know, hey, we're still living a real life over here. We're not just putting on a show or anything like that. This is real life. We're just doing normal life things. I want to make sure that we are showing real life and not just not just giving you the highlights, you know, not giving you the fun highlights, but also what goes on in between. Everything in between matters. It's been a really tough summer on, I think, all of us. Again, not Braley's fault. It's just the way life goes sometimes. We're, we're good, though. Best thing you can do is move on and learn and recover and take time for us, something that we don't do often. Take time, like take David time, take Stacy time. Even take David Stacy time. Uh, take time for us when we can. That's very important. Mental health is really important and it's something that we definitely struggle with. All right, let's do this bed stuff. I a lot of talking in this video. I really apologize. I have a lot to talk about. It's been a long time since I've like talked in a video. We've had a lot of like get out and do things videos. 
know like what is actually happening in the Wii Family Life videos. Uh, one other note, our merch store, I was supposed to close it on July 1st, I didn't. I'm gonna close it now. We're updating all of our merch stuff, so if you don't start a merch store for a little while, that is why. We probably bring back one or two of the items, but a lot of just new stuff that we're gonna put out there. Everything just needs a refresh, you know? When I refresh everything, everything just feels a little better. That's what I'm saying. Everything just feels better. Man, a lot has happened in the last two weeks that we could talk about too. For the sake of not talking right now, I will save those stories for another video. Okay. Max, I, I have to move the bed. The bed's going away. Okay? Yeah, it's going away. I know you're laying in it like it's not going away, but it is. Yeah, I'm sorry.